Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of European War 6 World War 1 Yes, today we're gonna have a look at the World War 1 mod in European War 6 So basically, this is a beta version of that uh, I don't have the ABK, but I only have the uh, texture, the image uh, shared by the Canadian modder himself So Canadian modders has been working on so many mods as you guys can see uh, we have the first uh, Glory of Communism, Glory of Communism 2, uh, the Great War mod, which has been already released, uh, but still fixings. And right now, we're going to have a look at the European War 6 World War 1 mod by Canadian modders. As you all know, about two or three months ago, the European War 6 game was unlocked, the APK itself, meaning that you can now able to mod it into different type of thing you want. As the first European War mod that I uh, review, was by Erebus, a Korean modder, as far as I remember. Erebus did a pretty good job, actually, but it's just his fantasy because the Erebus mod kind of feature career and also with time traveling, which is pretty good, actually, if you guys are into time traveling or maybe love to play as Korea. So first, we're gonna have a look at our first image right here. It's the uh, map of the Eastern Europe. So basically, we have uh, German Empire, we have Denmark, we have Sweden. We also have Austria-Hungary, which is down above. We can see Prague and Krakow. We also see Russian Empire, which stretch until Finland and also at Warsaw. So basically, this is the first step of the modding. Uh, I talked with Canadian modder. He mentioned that right now, there's a lot of stuff to work on. But the first thing that he did is that he tried to make sure that uh, the map's water are going correctly. Everything looks fine to him. He's, he's mentioned about that. He also mentioned the fact that uh, he need to uh, make sure that it looks pretty okay. Meaning that the texture, everything, because the map is pretty much not an easy thing to do, but he tried his best. Okay, so moving on to another second image, uh, we have the uh, American soil. And Canada. So as you all know, America and Canada were both allies in World War One. But this version, it's still not yet done because uh, Canadian mother is still fixing on Canada. And for generals, we don't really have that yet. Right now, we're only fixing the map and the border and try to make sure that they're all both aligned. So you can see from Oregon, California, Louisiana, and Virginia and also Massachusetts. So from Boston to New York to San Francisco, Los Angeles. Uh, everything is going fine, but the only problem right now is that we need to make sure that we fix the thing that's going on uh, with, you know, allies and also with uh, countries and also from the border as well. So, on to the third image, you can see Central Europe. Okay, so Central Europe, you can see uh, Turkey, we have Serbia, we have Romania. Romania is a bit small. The fact, the problem is because of the map texture itself. European War 6 map is pretty much dull together. It's more of a hexagon, more than just a map. You can see we have uh, Nepal, we, uh, we still have Sardinia, we still have Italy. The problem is it's not fully functional yet. So this mod basically still have uh, older generals. Uh, German Empire is okay, Russian Empire is fine. Uh, we also have Austria-Hungary. Uh, we still have we, we, we still have Serbia, so everything in the Eastern Europe pretty much done. Uh, the only problem right now that we, we still have to see is the uh, you know the the sorry the country uh, in the uh, Western Europe because technically Canadian model works from uh, uh, the the Eastern Front first. So basically we have Turkey, yeah, like I already mentioned, you know. So pretty much on Eastern Europe is done. The only problem we have to wait right now is on the Western Europe, which is still in the process uh, by Canadian mother. And we have the fourth image, which is Bavaria and Austria. So this was the first image of the first process. So he talked to me, uh, how do we petition Bavaria? So I told him uh, Bavaria should be given to, uh, you know, to Germany. But as far as I remember, he gave Munich to Austria. So the problem is uh, we cannot share it properly. You know why? Because it's, it's only shared between the city and we cannot just uh, give half of Munich to uh, you know Germany because there's still some part of it belong to Austria. So pretty much the border is the problem. 
uh, it's not Canadian model himself, he tried his best but he cannot petition that thing so pretty much it's still intact like this so maybe we should give Munich back to uh, Germany or give it back to Austria-Hungary it's it's up to the you know the, your, your, your idea, your comment so yeah we have to wait until we have the uh, feedback from all of you guys so but but this is just a first look a highlight you know some review and we have the final image which is yeah the first process in between holy roman empire and the turkey so uh, this image was just a result of using the turkish map so sorry not the turkish map the balkans map yeah, so Canadian Modern mentioned about using this in the Balkans, you know, by using the same texture because this one is a bit more detailed than using the other from the Conquest map because the Conquest map is pretty small and as far as I remember, I also worked on the Conquest map with uh, Canadian Modern himself. So, this is for today, uh, European War 6 uh, World War 1 mod highlights. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, keep in mind that this is still in process. This is just a few, you know, uh, you know, highlights that I would uh, wanted you guys to see and Canadian Modder also uh, wanted to share with you guys and if you guys follow Canadian Modders on YouTube you'll definitely see he shares a few images uh, before as well so hope you guys enjoyed this leave a like if you do and I will see you guys next time